I'm, I'm going to a little bit of reality now. Uh, the drama show can move into other shows, like the We Don't Know show on a Wednesday or the Wild show on a Thursday, which will be about 10 o'clock. Uh, so sometimes bits of reality slip into the drama show. Uh, for, for example, what's happening with the uh, Education Institute uh, the Education Innovation Institute uh, part of Exeter University because I, ca I can't work out what's going on with it um, and it sort of relates to the, the CD Walk and the Temp Radio Studio to some extent but the, the, the CD Walk which it does exist as a script which was sent in to um, Downstage Right is based on the idea of walking around Exeter looking at where the r retail for uh, music used to be and thinking about why education needs so much uh, new building. Uh, that's the, the And then there's some sort of hybrid resolution which could change. I mean, maybe we should remake it or call it something else and do it again. But that's, that's the basis of the c CD walk as a hashtag. Um, but I, I, it just seems to me, to, as, far as, as far as you can tell, um, Exeter University, for example, uh, most, most of the UK seems to be the same. The government line seems to be getting everything back to normal and not working at home and uh, the student experience as expected uh, and so forth. Um, but there was a, a strategy published it, it didn't seem to me to emphasise digital, but it uh, included it to some extent, and it did mention this Education Innovation Institute, but I haven't heard anything about it since. And looking at the um, environmental water orientated um, project, I, I just came across the building site by chance, walking about, uh, looking at routes following streams but there, there it was so it's, it's included in the video but I, I just don't know how much online resource uh, is intended or, or where the where the budget is going but it just seems to be something to consider from an environmental point of view I, I know big data takes up lots of energy and so forth but it's just worth having a look at it and certainly if you're uh, there's, video, there's videos as well have come up. Um, Transforming Education for a Changing World and Education Without Borders are two videos that have appeared on YouTube. Um, when you look at them, they're, they're more, they're, they're quite broadcast orientated. I don't, uh, YouTube is, be is becoming social media. So I don't know wh what the comments are on that yet, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. But if anybody knows what the Education in Innovation Institute is going to be like, uh, that would be that would be very interesting. And just going back to the um, the walk, uh, sound studio with video edit. Um, the footpath that goes through Hoopen Fields, Lower Hoopen Valley. Is is a right of way. I think it's a public right of way. The bit, and it's it's very well maintained now. The the, the steps have been uh, filled in with with good good stable surface material. So it's it's a it's a it's a very good walk at this time. Uh, but when you get to the bottom of it, there's a there's a footpath going off, which I don't think is a right of way. And I don't know what the expectation is, whether you're supposed to use that bit, and whether you can get out again as you get towards the other end, um, the sort of Weatherspoon's drama department end. But if anybody in the drama department knows um, how the footpaths are actually used, the sort of existing reality of it, or what the long-term intention is, uh, that, would, that would be interesting because um, potentially it's a, very, it's a very good space, but access to it is, is just a bit strange and not understood very well so that's that's my, my take on reality at the moment